Thank you for joining this lesson. We are continuing with uniform circular motion. So we're going to end our question here, whereby we are told that a car of mass 800 kilogram moves on a circular track of radius 20 meters. The force of friction between the tires and the tarmac is 4,800 newton. Determine the maximum speed to which the car can be driven without skidding, without skidding. Therefore, we know that uh, on a tarmac or on any circular path, the centripetal force is provided by the friction between the tires and the tarmac. So this means the frictional force which gives us centripetal force will be given by the general formula mass times velocity squared divided by the radius of the path. Now that we given the friction between the tarmac and the tires, then we can equate that friction with mass, which is 800, times V squared, which is unknown, divided by radius of 20. So we can remain with V squared V squared will be for 8,000 or for 800 times 20 divided by 800. This gives us 120. So the velocity will be when we take square root of 120. This gives us 10.95 meters per second. So this is the speed beyond which this car is going to slide off or to skid off from the circular path. Remember, there must be a certain speed beyond which the centripetal force will be greater than the frictional force. And now when the centripetal force is greater than frictional force, then it means uh, the frictional force cannot hold the car in the circular path. And because due to an increased velocity beyond 10.95 meters per second, then that car will require a greater centripetal force beyond what the car tires and the tarmac can provide. So that car is likely to skid off. That's why we are calling this one the maximum speed the car can be driven ahead. So any speed below this one, then the car can sustain the circular motion. But beyond this one, it will require a centripetal force that cannot be provided by the present friction. So thank you for following. Subscribe to the channel and share the link.